Guys, Wyoming GOP lawmakers are attempting to phase out or ban electric vehicles in Wyoming. Why? I really don't know. Um, we'll get to why they say it is, but generally this doesn't make much sense. And I'll say at the front just to be as you know uh, transparent as possible or as honest with this story as possible. It seems like from the statements of the lawmakers who introduced this bill to the Wyoming legislature uh, aren't actually serious. They're trying to make a point of going against California, who's trying to phase out, um, you know, gas powered cars. And so they're saying, we're gonna phase out electric vehicles. But either way, very, very odd from USA Today, a group of Republican Wyoming lawmakers want to phase out the sale of electric vehicles in the cowboy state by 2035, saying the move will help safeguard oil and gas industries. The bill introduced into the state legislature on Friday claims electric vehicles will hinder Wyoming's ability to trade with other states. Quote, Wyoming's vast stretches of highway uh, coupled with a lack of electric vehicle charging infrastructure make the widespread use of electric vehicles impractical for the state. Among the reasons cited uh, for introducing this legislation is stuff about the batteries, the minerals involved, and then protecting the oil and gas industry. And so there's, of course, an honest conversation to be had about making sure people aren't economically damaged and their jobs aren't um, unexpectedly and painfully and without support lost because of the shift that we're going to have to do away from things like internal combustion engines. And the solution to that problem, there's a lot that are proposed trying to directly help individuals who will be impacted. Similar conversation we'll have when people say, what's gonna happen to the insurance jobs in the healthcare insurance industry um, whenever you have universal healthcare? And that should be addressed, but there are solutions to that. There are ways we can financially support and um, in other ways address the needs of individuals who will have their jobs affected by a shift towards green energy. Overall, we also know that green energy um, industries, if we properly invest in them and enhance them, will also create a lot of jobs, but someone can't necessarily hop from one to another. And so we can have that compassion while not saying, let's completely halt a necessary move for that purpose. And definitely, as I noted previously from some of the reporting I saw about the lawmakers who introduced this, we should definitely should not be doing this to put it in the face of California and those darn liberals. And it shows you kind of the own the libs type thinking because they know this is not going to get passed. They're introducing it to make a point that they can have a good time with and make their base happy with. And the point really is <laughs> those libs love the electric vehicles and we're <laughs> backhanding the electric vehicles in your face. Um, and it's that own the libs mentality that has become so popular among the right wing and so much of the thinking as to why they support policies or individuals. Trump was the only lib king to them, and that's why he got <laughs> one of the reasons he got so popular. And so that gets in the way of progress in so many ways. And actually, their pursuit of owning the libs oftentimes just ends up owning themselves. Wyoming, I don't live in Wyoming. That's a loss for y'all if you're going to randomly try to phase out electric vehicles that have so many benefits. And even before we're in a completely electric uh, car economy, which is a while down the road, still some people might enjoy an electric vehicle. And it's a strange kind of anti-freedom move to push for that. And so in this situation, these GOP lawmakers are bending themselves out of shape to own the libs or to do whatever they're trying to do in a way that's actually just coming back to bite them.